Good morning and good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 19th day of Nisan. We begin today chapter 42. Very, very interesting chapter and an important chapter. And uh, we are learning in this chapter also why do we need a Rebbe, a tzaddik, a leader? Aren't we connected directly to Hashem? Why do we need a Rebbe? We have Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu was also leading the Jewish people. Why is that important? al Rebbe in this chapter explains that in order to serve Hashem properly, there is something that we get from Moshe Rabbeinu. There is the special connection to the neshama of Moshe Rabbeinu in each and every one of us. And especially, there is the spark of Moshe Rabbeinu, of Moses, in the tzaddikim, the leaders of the generation. And through them, we are capable to serve Hashem properly and gain the proper yiras Hashem, fear of Hashem. And al begins with a question that it says, Moshe Rabbeinu says in the Torah, what does God want from you? Nothing much. That he only wants from you is just to fear Hashem. And now when we're talking about fear of God, we're not talking about fear of punishment. We're talking about real fear, real awe, and a deep understanding, appreciation of the awesome God and the godliness. And the Gemara asks the question, is that such a small thing when Moses is saying, all I want, all Hashem is asking from you is just to fear Hashem? And the answer that the Gemara gives, the answer that it's brought down in the Talmud, is even more perplexing. The Gemara says, yes, for Moses, it's a small thing. So the is going to ask, what does it mean? For Moses, it's a small thing. How does it answer the question? I mean, imagine if someone comes in to, uh, a, a big billionaire comes and wants to talk to the people, they should give money for a certain project, and is going to say, I want each one of you to give you a million dollars. Come on, what's a million dollars? It's a small thing. Of course, for you, you can talk, a small thing for a billionaire, but for us, it's a big thing. So Moses is talking to the people, what? Is he oblivious? Is that understanding what the people are capable of? Obviously Moses was not. There may be some tzaddikim that they live in a, in a different way, in a different world, and they cannot see uh, um, what the normal people feel. But a tzaddik like Moses is a leader. A leader is supposed to feel and understand and know exactly where the people are. We know the story of Moses became the leader when Hashem saw that when he, Moses, was chasing after the sheep that was running away. And he was attending to the one sheep that ran away from the flock. Obviously, a leader is, knows. That's when Hashem said, Moses, you care for the sheep that ran away and you bring it back. You are the one who is qualified to be the leader of my people. So a leader like Moses is one who understands and he knows the feeling of each and every one of us. So what is, why does Moses say, what does Hashem want from you? Not much, just to fear Hashem. And that is a question that Talmud asks. And the answer the Gemara gives, that for Moses is a small thing. al Rebbe says, what kind of answer is this? And al Rebbe is going to explain that when the Gemara says that for Moses is a small thing, it means to say that there is a Moses within us. And there is a Moses of every generation. And this is something that helps us to reach the level of fear of Hashem. So let's look inside what al Rebbe says in today's Tanya. In the light of what it was, that, uh, of what had already been said on the subject of the lower level of fear, as summarized above. There is the higher level of fear, there's the lower level of fear, 
we're not going to going to uh, into it right now, but we explained in the last chapter the lower level of fear is the awe that we have of Hashem. So based on this, you van hated Mashakosu Begimorel Pasuk, the Ata Israel, Mora Shemele Kecha Shoel Me Imach Kiim Le Iro Esa Shemele Kecha. One will clearly understand the Talmudic comment on the verse, and now Israel. What does the Lord your God require require of you only that you fear the Lord your God? And the Gemara is asking, Is fear then such a small thing? And the answer the Gemara gives, the answer that is brought in the Talmud is, in Yes, in the case of Moses, it is a small thing, and so forth. So, says the Alter Rebbe, Lechore, Einoi Muven Atirutz. At first glance, the answer of the Gemara is incomprehensible. Why? The Oshoel Me'imach Ksiv. The verse says, because the verse says, what does he require of you? Not what does he require of Moses. What does he require from each one of us? And Al Tereb is going to explain that yes, because there is a neshama of Moshe. There's that the, the Moshe Rabbeinu has a very special place. What does Moshe do? He he brings. He's the one of the shepherds, one of the seven faithful shepherds, and and, and what Moshe Rabbeinu is doing is bringing the faith, bringing the awe of Hashem into each and every one of us. And al is going to explain in detail. Elohim, you know. The explanation, however, is Ki kol nefesh ve nefesh mi beis Yisrael yeish bo mi p'chinas Moishe Rabbeinu Olav HaShalem. Each and every soul of the house of Israel comprises within it something of the quality of our teacher Moishe, of Moishe Rabbeinu. Ki yu mishiv aroim. The peace unto him. Because he is one of the seven shepherds. Who are the seven shepherds? We know Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, and David. And he's one of the seven shepherds. These seven shepherds who cause vitality and godliness to flow to the community of the souls of Israel, for which reason they are called shepherd, because a shepherd feeds is flack. So the two, the shepherd, the spiritual shepherd, they feed the spirituality to the Jewish people. Now, not only is Moshe Rabbeinu considered one of the seven shepherds, but Moshe Rabbeinu, he is the one that comprises them all. So the other ever says that Moshe Rabbeinu is considered unique even among the shepherds. You know, it's interesting. It says about Moshe Rabbeinu, it says in the Torah Center, it says Avraham Avram. Twice Avram. It says in, in, in Avraham Avram, there is, there is a line between Avraham Avram. And the Zaya says that by Moshe, Moshe, it says Moshe, Moshe with no line in between. What is the difference? It says there is by Avraham, there is the Avraham the way is above. In the spiritual world, and there is the Havram the way is below. Even when we'll say Hashem Hashem, also, Kel Racham Achanon, there is also a psik, something with this the Hashem, the way it's above, Hashem, the way is below. But by Moshe, it says Moshe, Moshe, it says the Zoya, that there is, no, there is no separation in between. Because Moshe Rabbeinu, the same Moshe that was above, the same Moshe is down here in this physical world. That means that his neshama, his neshama came from Atzilus in the same way it came from the higher world right here in this physical world. Moshe is considered the Raya Mehem. Raya Mehem, the faithful shepherd, says Dal Rebbe. Why? Because he's the one that connects. He brings the Das. He connects. He makes the spiritual a reality in this world. Das means knowledge. But knowledge in this, in this sense means connection. Like it says by Adam Yodach Chava, Adam Nu Chava. Knowing Chava means connecting. So knowing, 
Moshe Rabbeinu gives them the ability to connect and to know in a way of connecting. Continues the Alter Rabbeinu. Moshe Rabbeinu Allah v'shalom hu klolu skula menikra rai mehemne our teacher Moshe peace upon him comprises aspects of them all and he is called a faithful shepherd the Ainu Shem Mamshich p'chinas adas leklolus Yisrael leida es Hashem this means that he draws down the quality of das to the community of Israel that they may know and be cognizant of God so that for them godliness will be self-evident and experienced by every Jew. Each according to who the intellectual capacity of his soul and its root above, according to the level of the root of the neshama, that's how much you can connect. And according to the degree of its nurture from the root of the soul of Moshe Rabbeinu, our teacher Moses, peace upon him, all of us shalom. Amushreshes bedas or elyon shabayud sfiris da atzilus. Now Moshe Rabbeinu's neshama, which is rooted in the das elyon, the supernal knowledge of the ten sfiris of atzilus, the ten attributes of the world of atzilus, which is the highest world of the four, four worlds. Am yuchodes b'matzilon baruchu, which are united with their emanator with Hashem. <laughs> For he and his knowledge are one, and he is the knowledge, etc. So that's one thing, says the Alter Rebbe, that every Yiddish Neshama is connected with the Moshe Rabbeinu and is nourishing from the, from the soul of, my, of Moses. In addition to that, says the Alter Rebbe, second thing, the second thing is also that indeed there is in every generation not only souls that nourish from the le- level, from the light of Neshama, of Moshe Rabbeinu, but there is souls that have a spark of Moshe Rabbeinu. There's the tzaddikim of each generation, the, the tzaddikim that receive the spark of Moshe Rabbeinu, which means it's not just something that, like a light, like shines, it is pa- the spark itself of Moshe Rabbeinu in their body. In addition, and beyond this, beyond more than the previous influence to the community as a whole, there are their descend in every generation sparks from the soul of our teacher Moses, peace upon, peace unto him. They close themselves in the body and soul of the sages of that generation, the eyes of the congregation. He says, the, the, the talk of Moshe Rabbeinu is in the body and soul. The Rebbe points out, why does it say body and soul? Why not soul and body? This is more to indicate that even in the body itself, there is the spark of Moshe Rabbeinu, directly the spark of Moshe Rabbeinu in the body of the tzaddikim. So when you have a tzaddik, the tzaddik that has a spark of Moshe Rabbeinu, even just looking at the tzaddik, even just being by the tzaddik, and the body of the tzaddik, that itself also gives the person, the Jew, the ability to connect and to be inspired and to get the yira to connect to Hashem. The Lame does is the only that do the Hashem will love. They believe of Shalom to impart knowledge to the people that they may know the greatness of God and hence serve Him with a heart, with heart and soul. Ki avoidah avoidah she believe the fear does because the service of the heart, meaning one's love and fear of God, is according to the das according to one's degree of knowledge and understanding of God's greatness. As it says, As it is written, Know your God, your, the God of your father, and serve him with all your heart and with a longing soul. So this is what we have today. Only 
concerning the future, the Mashiach's times, it is written, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, no God, for they all know, they, for they shall all know me. In time of Mashiach, we'll have this das, we'll have this knowledge, because, because this is something that we see. Das is knowing. So this is the second thing, Zelda. So number one, said the Alter Rebbe, was the fact that there is this, this, the Moshe Rabbeinu in each and every one of us, and we have been nourished from his soul. Number two, he says about the Rebbe, that there is a Rebbe that the Tzadikim in each generation, they have a spark, literally a spark in the body and soul of, of Moshe Rabbeinu, and they teach the knowledge of Hashem. And by being inspired by them, we can get, reach that level. And number three, the SS Delta Rebbe, it is important to do it on our own as, as well. That's what Delta Rebbe continues. It says, Ach ikar das, eno a yedi elevada, she yedi gdulas Hashem epi soifer wem pi sofren. However, the essence of knowledge, which leads one to serve God with his whole soul and heart, is not mere knowing alone, that people should know the greatness of God, from authors, the sages, spiritual guides, and books. Hello, ha'ikaru, le'amik daita begdula Hashem. The essential thing is to immerse one's own mind deeply into those things which explain the greatness of God. Ve'liskoya machshavtoi ba'Hashem, and to fix one thought on God. Bechoyzek ve'oymet zaleva moyach with strength and vigor. Of the heart and mind, ad shetei machashavte mekusheres ba'ashem bekesher amid v'chazik, until his thought shall be bound to God with a strong and mighty bound. Kemoishi mekusheres bedava gashmi sheroye beine basar amig boy machashavte. The, the, the bond is to be so strong as it is bound to a material thing which he sees with his physical eyes, and upon which he concentrates his thoughts. Kanoida, she'edas uloshen is kashus, for it is known that das connotes union. K'moi ve'odam yoda ve'goyme, as in the verse, and Adam yoda es chava. Yoda inu chava, literally no, means knowing. But the word Yod, that means the connecting, that he connected with Chava, with Eve. And that is, says the Alter Rebbe, this is the meaning of what we gain from the number one being that we receive the nourishment from Meish Rabbeinu, number two, connecting to the Tzadik, and number three, to focus strongly on the concept of what we learn is something that we should really connect to. I once mentioned the story of uh, one of the mashpim. It was uh, a mashpia in the city of Kherson in Ukraine. And it was a person who was, um, was, not, was not well at all. And the doctors, to the point that he could eat very, very little, he was able to eat something, to drink a little bread, a little milk, and it was hardly, suffered a lot physically. And one of his students was the Mashpia Remendel Futafas, who was much, much younger than him. And one day he meets him and says, no, how are you? How are you doing? And he says to him, ah, Baruch Hashem, he says, Alavai, I wish my spiritual, my spiritual life would be as my physical life. And the man looks at him and says, what? <laughs> really? That's what you wish? Obviously, your physical life, the physical life is not, is not much. You suffer, you have hard, you hardly live, you have a little bit bread and milk. He says to him, you don't understand. He says, yes, indeed, I have a hard time living. But in my physical life, that little milk that I drink, that little bread that I take in, really changes me, has an effect on me. 
So I wish, he says, my, my spiritual life would be the same. That what I take in, spiritually, what I learn, should really have an effect on me. And that's what he means. That is das. This is knowledge. This is knowing. Tomorrow, the Alter is going to continue explaining how we do this, the knowledge, how we do the connection, to be able to be inspired with this. And this is the end of today's share. So thank you very much for joining. That's Hashem. We'll see you tomorrow, Mizrat Hashem. All the best.